I discovered really early on that all the things I'd learned from making music and making images applied exactly to making fragrance. Well, you know the famous, the famous observation that you know painters and novelists are all basically just making the same painting and writing the same book over and over again. And I think, I think there is some truth in that. That's the other thing that's interesting about perfumery is I can do things in it that I can't say with sound and I can't say with a photograph. I always think in a fragrance, I want to be able to smell the horizon. I want my nose to be pointed beyond the, the, the top notes to somewhere further away so that you're, you're sensing a bigger space, you're sensing a kind of distance. And I do the same thing with my sound and I do the same thing with my photographs. So I make perfumes for the people who are wearing them. Uh, and I want them to feel clothed by them, in a way. Um, and I want them to feel enclosed by them. It's almost like a sort of portable chapel or a, or a portable piece of architecture that you can wear. And I love that idea that you, it's, um, you can change that. You know, every morning you can wake up and select a different kind of cocoon for yourself, which I, I think is beautiful.